Okay. Uh, thank you for the speech, Professor. My question is uh, on <coughs> Judeo-Christian Islamic relations, which I don't think you really touched on, uh, in that the problem of Israel and Palestine, I see that as a stumbling block between American Islamic, Christian Islamic relations. And uh, so I'm wondering how do you mm. see this stumbling block being overcome? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think that it's, it's a stumbling block at a political level, but uh, not necessarily at a religious level. It is with certain elements of the religious right, but it is certainly not. If you look at the statement, for example, of the National Conference of Catholic Bishops on the Middle East given as far back as five and six years ago, uh, and indeed, there are many groups of, of Christians and Muslims, uh, Christians, Muslims, and Jews, but Christians and Muslims that I happen to know, you know, uh, who have spoken out quite strongly on issues like Palestine and Jerusalem. Uh, but at a political level, yes. I mean, I think that uh, the reality of it is, um, um, uh, my, for example, I mean, I often don't say this publicly, but, you know, he is video. It is, yeah. Well, it isn't publicly, right. You will all forget what you hear. Um, I mean, it's not that significant, but my center is called Center of Muslim Christian Understanding. And that's because of the, the, the people who originally established it, what they wanted to do. Now, we do have symbols of all three faiths in the center, carved uh, in Bethlehem. But some have said, why don't you also have Judaism as part of that? And uh, part of the answer that I will give is, is simply that what we do is what we do, just as there are groups that do Judeo-Christian, but also that until Palestine is resolved, one cannot talk about this kind of uh, official, uh, I think, trialogue in the kind of effective way in which one would want to. So I think that you're right. I mean, it, it, is, it is a stumbling block. Yes. 